The then Imperial Iranian Air Force, renamed Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIAF, after the Islamic Revolution, sought a fighter with better mobility and armament, as well as a highly adaptable area defense interceptor when it bought the F-14 Tomcat. The IIAF desired a whole system with excellent sensors and efficient long-range missiles. The F-14 was so effective that her AWG-9 radar could track up to 24 targets at once, and direct six AIM-54 Phoenix missiles against them while simultaneously detecting airborne targets at great distances. The AWG-9, AIM-54 combo also made it possible to intercept high-speed airborne threats like the MiG-25 as well as low-flying cruise missiles. The performance of the Tomcat during the conflict with Iraq proved the Iranian choice beyond a shadow of a doubt. According to Tom Cooper and Farzad Bishop's book Iranian F-14 Tomcat Units in Combat, the Iraqi Air Force began employing MiG-25 RBs to strike Kark Island oil infrastructure in the fall of 1981. It was incredibly challenging to intercept the Foxbats because they flew at such great speeds and heights. Even the best and most aggressive IRIAF Tomcat aircrew experienced enormous workloads in the cockpit during the ultimate exercise in precision flying and high-speed operations intercepting a MiG-25. However, Araf MiG-25RBs began conducting flights deeper into Iran in September 1982, attacking civilian targets. The F-14 as stationed at Marabad began to conduct 24-hour combat air patrols over Tehran as a result of these missions. The F-14 was initially flying these sorties at 30,000 feet, but as the MiG-25 got closer, it had to climb to 40,000 feet and speed up to Mach 1+. The IRIAF F-14 crews had to alter patrol altitudes, positions, and speeds in order to intercept the Foxbats because they typically flew at speeds of Mach 1.9 to 2.4 and between 60,000 and 70,000 feet. According to Cooper and Bishop, the precise moment that an IRIAF Tomcat shot down an Araf MiG-25 for the first time is unknown. The Araf had lost 98 fighters and 33 pilots to Iranian F-4 and F-14 aircraft, including a MiG-25 and an F-14-launched Phoenix missile, the defector told his Syrian interrogators on May 4, 1982. Iranian sources claim that the first confirmed IRIAF F-14 kill of an Iraqi Foxbat occurred on September 16, 1982. On that day, a single contact going close to Mach 3 was approaching Kark at 70,000 feet and was detected by ground-controlled intercept by 2F-14 as on a CAP between Busha and Kark. The lead Rio began the intercept of what was obviously a MiG-25RB by activating his AWG-9 as the F-14s came into danger. After a short while, the F-14s radar found the target. Over 100 kilometers away, one AIM-54A was launched, 60 miles. The Foxbat was struck by the missile, which quickly closed the gap between them, creating a massive ball of fire. The Persian Gulf's shark-infested waters are likely to blame for Iranian helicopters' failure to locate the pilot after he reportedly ejected over the water. This triumph demonstrated that the AWG-9, AIM-54 combo was capable of engaging and destroying MiG-25 aircraft traveling at nearly Mach 3. The following battle between the Foxbats and Tomcats happened once more close to Kark. According to Cooper and Bishop, Major Sharam Rustami was flying an F-14A on a CAP on December 1, 1982 between Kark and Bundar e Khomeini, covering a convoy of commercial ships sailing into Bundar Abbas. After spending two hours at the station, Rustami received a GCI alert about a single contact, a MiG-25, flying at 70,000 feet in Mach 2.3 from the north. The Foxbat was swiftly closing in on the F-14, which was flying at barely Mach 0, 
4 at 40,000 feet and 113 kilometers, 61 miles above ground. The crew had to act quickly. Rustami accelerated while the target was being pursued by his radar intercept officer. The pilot of the MiG engaged his electronic countermeasure equipment and decreased the distance to 71 kilometers, 38 miles. As the F-14A accelerated to Mach 1.5 and rose to 45,000 feet, Rustami's Rio was still able to get a positive radar lock on and fire a single AIM-54A from 64 kilometers, 34 miles away. In order to avoid approaching the MiG too quickly, Rustami moved his Tomcat slightly to the west once the missile successfully separated. Just inside the radar envelope, he held the target. The hit symbol lighted on the radar screen as the computer calculated time to impact on the weapons panel counters approached zero, and seconds later GCI confirmed that the Foxbat had vanished from their radar scope. Despite a significant Araf SAR operation, the pilot of the MiG-25RB that crashed into the sea was not recovered. When two MiG-25 PDs breached the airspace above northern Iran on December 4 and attempted to intercept an airliner flying from Turkey as it passed over Tabriz, Araf Foxbats sought to avenge a few days later. Major Tufanian, one of the first Iranian F-14 pilots, was flying an IRIAFF-14A when it was vectored into the region without the knowledge of the Foxbat air crews. The Phoenix was launched by the Tomcat crew as they saw their intended target try to escape the AIM-54 that had been fired at it. Due to mechanical issues, the Phoenix sped past the Foxbat. Major Tufanian launched a pursuit after accelerating his Tomcat to Mach 2.2. The Araf pilot eased down after the initial AIM-54 missed, feeling secure. Instead, by approving his own death certificate, the MiG-25 was destroyed by a second Phoenix.